Happy Monday, everyone. I just wanted to take a minute and talk to you guys a little bit about something that we all experience so many times in our business, and that's fear. Um, and, the, and it holds us back. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experiences with it and encourage you to kick it to the curb because it's, it's, it doesn't do us any good in our businesses. And many of you guys probably already know that. It's not a newsflash. But yet it's still something we hold on to. And a lot of it is literally just that. It's like, okay, I can't, I don't know what to do next. I, you know, I'm afraid if I step out. Um, it's just so many things that we hold on to out of fear and, and won't release because we're scared to take that next step. And, you know, one time, um, I remember my mom saying this uh, many, many years ago. She said, um, she was talking about, you know, having children and, you know, if you wait, nothing is ever going to happen, you know. And I think that is so true. Um, you know, at the time, she, her point was, you know, she wanted grandbabies, so she's like, you know, you need to, you need to get with this. And um, and I'm twenty, I'm, I'm twenty five at the time, and working as a paralegal, my concept was that I was going to go on to law school, and uh, you know, that was my kind of my path. But we wanted children. Uh, we'd been married about four years at this time, and we're like, you know, let's okay, she's right. And, um, and so, you know, our thought was, well, you know, we're not really financially where we want to be, right? So let's just wait a little bit longer. So, you know, a year later and we're still like, well, we really want children. And, you know, we're getting to that point where we finished our, we, we, both of us had just finished our bachelor's degrees. Um, I had applied to law school. And we said, you know, this is probably a good time. It's good time as any, right? Where I'm not getting any younger. That was that was the big thing. Uh, and so I said, okay, let's just do this. So Tyler was a planned pregnancy, and um, and literally that choice that we made of okay, it's okay. We may not be where we want to be financially, but yet we are going to take this leap of faith that you know everything will be okay. And I've used this example so many times. If you wait to have kids, you'll never have them because things are never perfect. It's exactly the same thing in our businesses. Um, you know, we're scared. We're thinking, well, things aren't just like I, I, we want them to be, and uh, things are not perfect. I can't release this, you know, this blog post because it's not perfect. Um, I said this to somebody the other day at, at Social Media um, Marketing World, and it really resonated with her. So I'm going to share it with you here too. Um, I said, if you're not scared before you hit that publish button on your blog post, then you're not doing it right. You should absolutely have a little bit of fear of putting yourself out there every time because it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you producing the best stuff that you possibly can. Um, but don't let fear keep you from pushing that publish button. Um, you know, we have to, sometimes we have to realize that, you know, good enough is perfect. Um, I'm a perfectionist and I know that I know this firsthand there's so many times there's things that I haven't done and and I could have served people with my skill set because I was scared that I didn't have it perfect or it wasn't just exactly the way I wanted it to be so I want to encourage you to realize that it doesn't have to be perfect that you need to step out of that fear zone, kick it to the curb, and know that you can do this. I mean, there's so many things that we limit ourselves to when we have so many big things in us. So don't limit yourself, um, you know, and don't let the fear hold you back from doing things that you may have been, you know, even the little things like the blog posts and, um, you know, maybe, you know, when we think, well, fear is holding us back, you sometimes think, well, you know, I'm not launching a coaching program or I'm not, you know, putting out a new product or, you know, all of those types of things. But I bet you there's a lot of you out there who have not done that, have not launched coaching pro programs, have not stepped out on faith that you know what you're talking about, that want to launch a product uh, simply because you're scared. You don't know where to go, what to turn, who to turn to, what to do. Um, you know, just know that you can do this. Buckle down and, you know, do it because if you continue to wait, you're never going to do it. 
So please, please, please kick that fear to the curb and just get busy with it. You got this. You can do it. If I had just continued to wait and, and hope for things to be perfect, one, I'd have never had children. And two, I would have never launched a business that um, has grown into where it is today. So please kick the cur fear to the curb. Know that you have big things in you and, um, and know that good is good enough sometimes. Okay, hope this has been helpful, guys. Take care. God bless. Have a fabulous week.